Hello IT Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Almedril and in this video I'll be showing you the main difference between an encrypted hard drive and a non-encrypted hard drive. This, can, this works for a desktop computer or a laptop, um, can be an SSD or a mechanical hard drive, it does not make a difference. So for this end I have these two laptops, HP and Dell, can be any other brand, you can see the models on the top. And the, and the Dell one is going to be the one that is not encrypted. So these both have Windows 10, but on the Dell, uh, BitLocker is not enabled. And for the one on the right, the HP is the one that is encrypted or protected. So uh, BitLocker is enabled on this laptop. I have done many, well, a few videos in the past about these two laptops. You can see them there. If you're interested in upgrading the BIOS version for many models, you can click on the top right of this screen. I have a playlist like I said, with many models. And for the other two videos, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So this is the scenario. You have a laptop or a desktop computer. It can be your personal, can be the one used for work. Most likely it's going to be a laptop nowadays. And in this laptop, you have your work, you have personal information, you have your files, your projects, uh, your games, <laughs> you have your pictures and all that. And let's say somebody steals your laptop or you lose your laptop. So maybe this, this person is tech savvy. Let's say they don't want the laptop or the desk computer to sell it, to profit only for its monetary value. But uh, they want to know the information inside your computer. They want to get, hey, I can, maybe I can get the password of these people and the um, email accounts and I don't know, many personal information or work information that you may have on this. So will this person be able to access that? Now, I'm going to explain a little about BitLocker. BitLocker is an encrypting software that belongs to Microsoft. So it's included in Windows uh, 10 version Pro and above. So it can be Windows 8 as well, but nowadays we use Windows 10. So if you have Windows Home, you are not going to have BitLocker included. You can look for it, but you, you will not find it. And uh, again, Windows 10 Pro and above, Enterprise and all the other versions. You also need the hardware, the TPM. So this TPM Trusted Platform module is a chip that is, um, that is connected to your motherboard. So you need that for, for, for BitLocker to work. So if you have BitLocker, you have Windows 10 Pro, but you don't have the TPM is not going to work anyway. So if you work for a, for a company, most likely you have Windows 10 Pro and BitLocker is enabled by default. Also, if you buy a computer by yourself, it's a personal computer and you buy it and you buy um, Windows 10 Pro version, uh, most likely it comes already included. Of course, it's always better to ask, but most likely nowadays, for many years now, um, if you buy Windows, I don't know, Dell, HP, Lenovo, any other brand, they come either a, a desktop computer or a laptop, they come with Windows 10 Pro and BitLocker enabled. All right, so now let's check out how, how we can compare these two hard drives. Okay, I'm going to start with the Dell and then we're going to continue with the HP. So I'm going to put it aside and now I'm going to turn it over, the Dell laptop, I removed the battery, as you can see there. If you can do it, do it. If you cannot, well, there's no, not much you can do there. And now I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any watches or jewelry, and I don't have any static electricity in my body because I, I touch a metallic surface before the video. So I'm going to use my um, Phillips screwdriver. And now while I'm doing this, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't done so yet. So after that, we have removed the cover. I'm going to take out the hard drive. In this case, it's an SSD but it could be a mechanical one as well. So now I'm going to bring the HP and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to, I'm going to put the SSD over here and I'm going to remove the cover. So this one was a little more difficult. I cannot remove the battery as you can see there. And it took me a few more minutes to, um, to take out the cover. So once I have done that, you can see there that we have uh, an M2 SSD. So also I'm going to remove it using my Phillips screwdriver. And just like that, I have the, the two hard drives out. So now I'm going to use my computer. My, this is my HP uh, laptop. I also did a video in the past on how to upgrade the BIOS version. So you can check it on the top right of this screen. So now, as you can see, this is, the, my, this is my PC. And if you notice, I'm going, to, I'm going to zoom in. 
uh, there is a lock on the hard drive. It only has one physical hard drive. You can see it there, it's an SSD, and it's the C drive where Windows is installed. So you can see the lock there. That means BitLocker is being is enabled. And the computer also has the T, uh, the, the chip to enable, so BitLocker can, can work. So if you don't see the lock, that means BitLocker is not enabled or you don't have the right version of Windows. So with that said, uh, what we are going to do next is obviously connect the first one. Now we're going to start with the uh, an, an encrypted one. This is the SSD from the Dell laptop. So using my SATA to USB cable, I'm going to connect it. And I have a few <laughs> issues there. So now I'm going to connect it to any available USB and we're going to see what happens. So as you can see, it's blinking red. That means there is connection. And as you can see, it has opened it by itself. So allow me, allow me to do a zoom in. And uh, as you can notice over here, these are, uh, of, like I mentioned, this is Windows 10. So we have all the files for Windows. So this is the Windows folder itself. So we're going to click on it. And this is all that Windows needs to run. So I'm going to go back and we can see the program files. We can see everything. But the most interesting thing is that we can go to users. So we have the public and the current user. I'm going to click on that one and it's going to tell me that I don't have access to it. But with just one click, I'm going to have access to it. So continue. And don't forget, this, you, this computer has a password. But when you connect it directly to a computer, you can see everything. So this is the software I have in my documents, Reflect, because I use this one to upgrade the S to an SSD. So I'm go, uh, you can see everything that I have. You can see that document. Uh, you can see the software reflect um, cloning hard, uh, software. So you can see everything. So that's what I'm trying to say. If somebody gets your computer and it's not encrypted, they can, they can have access to your files, pictures, and text. Maybe you have your password over there. Of course, that's not uh, advisable, but they can have access to everything on your hard drive. So that's uh, something that is not good. Obviously, this is an unencrypted hard drive. And as you can see, we have two partitions over there. Uh, the system reserve, which uh, is something, uh, a partition that has the operating system all, uh, always has. So that's, uh, that's what this hard drive has. So now I'm going to remove it um, just like any other USB. I just remove it like that and it's going to be uh, uh, available to remove. So now I'm going to remove that. And now how do we connect this M2 SATA SSD? So we have to use an enclosure. I have done a M2 SATA enclosure. I have done a video in the past on how to use it. If you're interested in that, the link for this device is in the video description below. So we just connect to it very carefully. We make sure it's adjusted. And now we're, we're going to close it. And now we connect it to the laptop. So as you can see, it's blinking. And right away, we have this message. Uh, uh, D is not accessible. So I'm going to close that. And as you can notice, the local disk D, it, it has a lock on it. So that means, you know that, that BitLocker is enabled. So now I'm going to double click on it. And it says BitLocker D, enter the 48 digit recovery key to unlock this drive, key ID. So it's asking us for the, uh, well, for the key for this hard drive and of course uh, if you if somebody stole your laptop or you lost it and somebody found it uh, that person doesn't have this key so the files are not accessible they cannot see anything so if i right click on it you can see all the options but the interesting thing is that if you go to format you click on that you can format the hard drive so if somebody <laughs> steals your laptop, they can come here and say, OK, I cannot access this uh, hard drive. So I'm just going to delete everything like any USB. So they can clean everything up and they can install Windows again and they can use the, the, win the, the laptop or sell it or whatever. But my point is they, they don't have access to your files when the um, hard drive is encrypted. So that would be uh, the, the main point if you have important files, documents that you want to, to um, you, you know, to keep it safe, of course, make a backup. I have a video for that. Uh, you can do a backup so you have it at home or in the office or somewhere else. Or you can, uh, and also, no, not or, and also you can enable BitLocker on it. So if you lost it or somebody steals it from you, 
they are not going to have access and your files are going to be secure. And if they find it, they can delete it, but you don't care at that point because it's lost, but you have a backup and they don't have access to it, okay? So maybe you want to watch these videos over here now. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.